Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So yes, my desk is a mess, but I'm okay with it being a mess right now. Um, I am just trying to age some of the book pages that I have that um, are from like the magazines and stuff. And they're a shiny book page, like this one here, it's real shiny. I think the shine may be showing up on camera. And so I think it is turning out simply gorgeous. And let me show you how I'm doing this. <laughs> so I have taken just a couple spoons of the um, matte gesso. And then I have done some really dark, um, strong instant coffee and just mixed it in. And that gesso is really helping to um, get it on there and keep it looking. I mean, it's just, this one was the first one I done. And so it took the shine off of it. And look how vintage that looks. You can see the back and then you can see the front. Like this is the before and after type thing. And then this one, this one is still drying. Look at the difference in that. How beautiful is that? So that's all I'm going to do today. Um, what I have underneath me right here is some of that, um, what is it, the packing type paper. Because I actually, I want it to get this coffee stuff on it. Because it'll make it that much, um, I'll be able to use it quite a bit in my journals. And I got way too much on the brush there, but that's okay. And so when I tore these, I made sure to tear them towards me so that it would get that, um, okay, <laughs> so it would get that ripped edge right there. And that ripped edge is like really soaking the coffee in. Um, so it's going to really age it and make it look even more vintage. Look how beautiful. I'm loving it. So all this is, is just gesso and instant coffee. And I may even, because it looks like it's going a long way. So I may even do some cardstock and stuff. Um, I'm going to do as much as I can, though, because I've already got the stuff out. I don't know how long it would keep, you know, if I put it in a jar or something. But I mean, look how beautiful that's looking. Just that one little coat on it makes it look so vintage. It's crazy. I guess the gesso is what's making it stick so good with it, you know, being the um, the glossy uh, magazine page. And then, or it could be just that I've got the coffee that, that thick. I don't know. It's just Dollar Tree coffee that I got, the Dollar Tree instant coffee. And uh, I just mixed it really super strong. Man, I'm loving it. I can't wait for them to start drying and so I can do something with them. I'm, I'm ready to try it. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. I do have some cardstock right there and we're probably going to try it out. But let me show you like on this, I just tear towards me because I want to get that little frayed edge. I'm just tearing it towards me. This would be really pretty on book page to do it like this. Hmm. Huh. We'll not have to get some book pages out. Look at that. Instant age. How cool. I am super excited. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. And this one's drying really good. Oh man, the texture is amazing. Okay, look here, let me try this. Let's just see. I want to see what it looks like. It's killing me. That aged that up for sure. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll come back and see what it looks like. Let me grab it. I have a piece of, ugh. 
white cardstock right here. Let me open this package and get a piece of this out. This is, oh, what is this? 90, 90 pound. So let's see what it does. I am curious now because I'm having so much fun with all of it. I wonder if you could do like a collage using this since it does have a little bit of gesso in it. I don't know. Hmm. But it sure does make that paper look nice and pretty and grungy. And it's not taking much to do it either. <laughs> guess that's what happens when you mix the coffee so dark. Wow, that's pretty though. It's very pretty. Okay, let's let that dry. I do have this. I don't know how it'll do. Um, this was from where I made those little um, pockets and I just took the little cutoffs there and I just made some um, a master board with them. So I have no idea if it's going to work on here or not, but I don't think it'll hurt. And what I used to do the master board with was, um, oh Lord, I'm dropping stuff. This stuff right here, it's from the Dollar Tree. It's Puzzle Saver. Oh my goodness, that stuff is amazing. That's another thing y'all need to pick up from the Dollar Tree because that stuff is so good. So that's what I done uh, this master board with was some of that. And it looks like it's going to work on the master board. Wow, guys. Oh, I'm wanting to like coffee dye everything right this minute. Okay, what else can I coffee dye? I'm looking around. Trying to see what else I have in, in within hand's reach that I can do. That's beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I am very impressed. It has to be the gesso that's making it do so good. And it's a matte gesso. So it will... Oh, this is looking beautiful. Look at that paper. Hmm. Alright, let's do another cough... Um, piece of the copy paper like that. We'll probably, what I'll have to do is I'll do a little bit more on camera here and then I'm going to have to stop and let it dry and then I can come back after it's all dried and we can see how it turns out. You know, because right now everything's still wet so we really don't know. So I'm going a little bit lighter on this one. No particular reason, I just am. That really turned out so good. Hmm. And then let's see, I got some. I wonder what these would look like. See guys, I'm just wanting to coffee dye everything right now. I want to do it all. I do this one kind of light. Oh, that's pretty. Looks really vintage -y. So I've got just a little bit on the brush and it's just enough to give it that color. And then what I'll do is when that top layer dries, I'll come back and do it on the back too. That's really pretty. Let's see, what else do we want to do? Hmm. Let's do this one. And then I'm going to have to stop because I'm going to be done coffee dyed everything in my house. But it's just so pretty. And it's fun. I probably will coffee dye quite a bit at the um, cardstock day, but I won't do all that on camera. What I'll do is um, I'll go ahead and stop the video in just a minute and um, I'll finish doing some more of the um, cardstock on 
uh, with the coffee dye. And then once it dries, um, I will come back on and show you guys. But um, that's just gorgeous. I'm loving that. So, okay, guys, well, I'm going to stop the camera. I'm going to keep working um, because I'm having too much fun. I will be back and we'll look at um, some of the stuff that I went ahead and got finished. So I'll see you in a little bit, guys. Okay, guys, I am back. I had way too much fun. So let me just show you. This is some of the, let me see if I can zoom out anymore. Um, this is the paper that I was using um, to set the cards on. And this one, they have beautiful um, staining on them. So, of course, I saved the paper. I will use this in something. I don't know what yet, but I definitely will. So, let me show you the magazine pages first. They turned out so cute. I mean, they are perfect. They really look vintage. And these were glossy magazine pages that I used. And you can see they just I'm impressed that to say the least um, I cannot wait to use these and I only done the one side on them um, because I figured you know the way I'll be using them I won't need you know both sides done with the coffee dye like that and I think that um, having the matte median or the matte gesso in there I think that really helped the, the entire thing so much and then I had some um, collage master boards that I had done. And so I done some of that on those. And I mean, look how beautiful. I absolutely cannot wait to use it. And then this was, um, this was just a piece of cardstock that I had played around with the paint. Um, wanting to get an idea of what kind of paint it was when I first got it. And so I just done that coffee mixture on this. Love the way it turned out. Same thing with this. Here is another um, master board that I had done and color, um, done the coffee on. Uh, this was just that piece of scrapbook paper. This is just a plain piece of cardstock and the texture that it gave I guess because of the gesso in it is just it's amazing and then this is um, the master board I made using the little cuts from those um, pocket tags that we done you know we would cut the little um, triangle off the top and so I had just glued them on here and then I um, covered over it with that um, coffee mixture and it just it turned out so good I am just so impressed with it and then let me see you know a few days ago I was taking apart that um, gardening book and so this is one of the pages that was in it and again these were like um, shiny magazine pages so it just I don't know the way it done it is just so beautiful and look at this one this is out of that same book this is the side book, you know, how it looked before, and then this is how it looks now. And so I cannot wait to use this in some sort of a journal or in a tag. Um, I, I'm ready to use it. And so this was like one of the cover page that was in it. This was another page that was down in it. And then these are some more, just some plain pieces of, they were white card stock. And so you see how pretty they turned out. And then let's see, here's a couple more pages of the, um, the smaller gardening book. And then I did, I don't know if you guys remember my Amazon junk journal haul where I had purchased a bunch of these. So I done some of these and these turned out great. So I just done a small handful and I still have a whole, but like that mixture goes a long way. So if you use it, you don't need to mix up much because I don't know if it'll last. Like if I put it in a jar with a lid, I don't know if it'll last or not. Um, but I still had some left even after doing all of this and I did not have that much mixed up. 
but you can see how good these turned out. These are just, these are ready to um, embellish and stick in a journal. And then we had the white tags that I had bought and I just, and these were kind of shiny, but um, they turned out really good. i done real good putting that uh, mixture on them. So these will be great uh, to put into some journals. And then I done some of the little small glassine envelopes. Look how pretty these turned out. This is the coin envelope. That's the regular envelope. I think I was having just a little bit too much fun. Like I was dying everything I could get my hands on. Because it was fun. I mean, it was just all turning out so good. So, okay, so these are the ones that are like the coin envelopes. Look how pretty they are. They just turned out, I don't know if you guys can see, but they turned out so good. And they dried really quickly. And then these are just like the regular, the little envelopes. So I've done those. Then I've done a stack of the glassine bags like this. Love how these turned out. Look at this. They are just so beautiful. And they sound so good. Oh my gosh. Y'all know I love that sound. But look how pretty they turned out. I mean, they're just... To use these in a journal is going to be so much fun. Okay, so there's those. And then I had some of the um, bigger ones like that that I also done. So you can see, I mean, they just look how beautiful. I mean, they really turned out great. I cannot wait to use these. Um, can you imagine putting like some vintage lace on these? And uh, gorgeous. Then I had some of these, and I don't know that I would use do these again because I really don't. I don't see a lot. I mean, you can tell by the texture. I mean, I guess they did because this side didn't have anything and this side did. So I guess they done something, but not a significant amount to where I would um, do these again. So these I would not do again, but you know, I've got those, I'll use them. Then I done some vellum envelopes. Look at that. Ah, oh, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Those are going to be amazing. And then I've done a few of the um, those key drop envelopes. And again, you really can't see it a lot on this, but you can tell. Um, you can see it a little bit. I don't know if it's picking up any on camera. Um, you can see a little bit that it's done it, but it definitely changed the, the texture of the bags of the envelopes. Um, so I probably will do some more of these um, just because I like the texture that it gave those envelopes. Um, so you can see I had quite a bit of fun um, using my coffee mixture. Oh, I had that piece of scrapbook paper too. Um, but it was fun. I, you know, I'm not going to lie. I had a blast. I was trying to find everything I possibly could. To coffee dye I mean if it wasn't put up good I was getting it and coffee dyeing it um, you know my husband was I think he was probably afraid I was about to start coffee dyeing his watches or something but you know oh, yeah he better be glad I run you know got tired and that one little thing I already had mixed up was getting lower I might want to try it to see how it would look <laughs> So anyway, guys, that's just um, my short video today, but I wanted to give you that little 
tip or trick or whatever you want to call it because <clears throat> like I said my main thing when I started doing it was I was just doing it for um, these magazine images that was what I wanted to get done and then when I started doing them and I realized how good it was doing and how it was making them look that's when I kind of progressed <laughs> But I mean, you know, like these bags here, you could put something like this and then put a piece of, a, you know, a dolly behind it. Um, you know, might would do like coffee dye dolly or something. I don't know. But you could put a little piece of dolly back there behind it, you know, like that right there. Um, look how pretty that would be. I mean, even with the white, it would be beautiful because it's a contrast there. But, you know, this is the kind of stuff I was wanting. I was wanting images like this to be able to use and to where they look vintage. So I am extremely pleased. So, and we are at 3,000 plus subscribers. So guess what? It's time for a giveaway. I will have all the details for the giveaway in tomorrow's video. So see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.